do we have here? It's another gold drop. Oh, what's inside of this? Oh, it's absolutely nothing of use to us. Oh, it's another one. Hold on a second. Double yellow drop with the compound bow inside of it. What? <laughs> Guys, welcome back though. Welcome back to our Omega Modded series where I've been busy. You might be wondering, what have you been busy doing, me YOLO? It's only been a day. No, it's actually been four or five days since the last episode i know i know you guys caught it yesterday for me though it's been a few days because i got ahead on uploads and i decided to build a base that's right that's right i wasn't slacking it i didn't take the time off i have been putting in the time putting in the yards uh yeah welcome to the new castello di miola the miola family castle welcome to the new base i'm really really proud of this one here despite it being pretty much just as functional as our old base the tiny little platform of stone uh this big old thing is um, it's just a lot of space, really. But I've really tried to make the most out of our little floaty... It's not a floating island. Our little... I don't even know what you call it. Um, but anyways, I'm going to give you a little tour of the place and uh, show you what I've been working on. It's it's big. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. And I, uh, yeah, I'm excited to share this with you guys. Guys, if you do enjoy the video, please go ahead, punch that thumbs up. Now, let me... I guess we'll just start at the entrance. So, as per usual, we got our little teleporter out the front. We've also got our little respawn point out the front. We've also got... Oh, yeah, you were my little item collecting guy that was chilling next to the farm that is now gone. Um, so I guess I... Yeah, you're kind of useless. And I'll show you guys why. Uh, but basically, for context, the old farm was here. And I literally just pulled it up like half an hour ago um but this is the entrance we've got a big old stone platform here because i didn't leave enough room out the front for uh i don't know actually no technically it's actually not too terrible um but as you can see we've got a little entrance by the way it's clearly not decorated it needs a lot of work but um yeah it's functional that's the main thing as you enter the base you may spot that we have tamed up a few extra little friends over here a well no, you're not an old, a new friend but you are, you're still stacking up the elements, so that's fantastic. Down here, though, we have ourselves a prime wood Mesopithecus who has been providing wood for all of this. We, we have needed a lot of wood. On top of that, we've also got an alpha stone feather light who, again, has been, yeah, producing a lot of stone. Uh, that has covered pretty much all the resources to make all of this happen. Otherwise, it would have been impossible. Uh, but yeah, as we go in, you may spot that I have uh, used a combination of adobe and stone. It is entirely stone. It just looks like adobe because it's... It's, it's like model change thing in my bubble. You can, you can tweak things to make them look a little different. Um, but I just thought I'd give it a little extra touch. Uh, it, it's a little bit dark in here. I got to sort out the lighting, but I haven't unlocked tech lights just yet. So we'll get to that soon. Uh, but over here, as we turn to our right, this is kind of like the basey type of area. We got our little crafting stations, the vanilla S plus typey stuff. I don't even know how much we need this stuff anymore, but it's here. I've gone and left open some big old panoramic windows so we can um, just look out and see things and, you know, see if there's any wyverns trying to attack us or just have a look at an itchy thornus carrying around a trilobite. <laughs> if that's what you want to be looking at. I don't know if I'm going to replace the glass windows with just like open windows with like a railing or something, but as of right now, it's glass. You can't jump through these. So it's, it's Miola proof. I can't go and fall to my death, uh, which has happened. So, yeah, it has happened. Anyways, um, as we go over this way, left of the entrance, this here is the Omega area. Um, it's it's work in progress-ish, I suppose. But this is basically all of the items, structures rather, uh, that we currently have access to slash need. Um, and it's kind of all automated. And I'm going to show you how that works in just a second. Um, but yeah, let me just have a, give you guys a little show around. We've got our egg kibble machine and our egg uh layer collector egg collector uh we've got us this thing which i still haven't worked out how to use properly the soul furnace we've got ourselves a scroll storage which uh basically stores all of your blueprints which are all pretty abysmal right this second but as we go you know what i'll cross that bridge later on <laughs> we've also got this item fragmenter which basically you can put items into and then fragment them i've never done it before but we're going to do that shortly uh over here we've got ourselves a soul grinder which again Oh, hello. I actually never opened this inventory. Interesting. Okay, so you can grind stuff. You can grind souls and then craft souls, maybe? Tokens? All right, cool. We'll look into that in the future as well because I've got no idea what that is. Uh, over here, we've got the bulk of our storage. So this is basically 
Omega Mods um, answer to dedicated storage where you can kind of set things to store in here. So this one's got all our essence. This one's got our souls. This one has our eggs. Um, well, aside from the eggs that are over there, uh, we've also got resources, Omega consumables, which is like potions and stuff like that and food. Um, but basically, yeah, that is where everything is stored right this second. This is the cursed idol, which is creepy as, but supposedly what this here does, I can just show you, um, when you put items in here, uh, yeah, all right, let's put my helmet in there, for example, right? So we can use soul shards, which I got to work out how to obtain because I don't know, uh, to, I guess, apply curses. Um, uh, for example, the multiplier curse, uh, multiplies random imbue but then also divides another one in half. Uh, on top of that, the other next one adds an extra while removing another, and then the other doubles, uh, but removes a random one. So you can basically end up with some pretty um, exciting pieces of armor. In fact, I've been told that you can actually pretty much solo this mod without a single tame, uh, which is nuts. Yeah, I would never want to try that. I've struggled staying alive with dinosaurs, let alone alone. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's that's going to be fun. I've heard that's a big old part of the mod. And over here, we have items I haven't really dealt with. We've got the dumpster, which you just dump items that you want to get rid of. We've got the quantum, which is a... It's, it's a massive storage box that I am not yet using. So it's just there for good looks. We've got the compressor, which supposedly you can compress souls. Um, and it stores them again i guess because i guess there's a lot of souls as we get into the later game and the grinder is used to grind items it's a grinder it's it's yeah so this is replacing my upgrade station uh supposedly hex and lord the creator of the omega mud doesn't really like using the uh upgrade station so i've decided not to use it anymore um however have a look at what we have in here you may be looking at all of this and going wow you've done some upgrading no turns out uh we chose a really nice base location because we have a drop right there that does yellow and red drops and there's also a drop over there that does red drop there's also a drop up there that does red drops um and they have been delivering it's been nuts the amount of loot well i mean you can you can see the loot firsthand up here it's it's all here uh it's crazy so we've been getting some pretty cool stuff uh over here we have ourselves the uh, unique totems so basically what i've set these up to do is store different types of totems this one here is set to hold unique weapons uh this one here is set to hold saddles this one here is set to hold charms and this one here is set to hold medallions um yeah, it's basically just the way things are meant to be configured. Over here, we've got, um, what are these things called? Mannequins. Uh, and basically, you can set these mannequins to hold uh, unique sets of armor. For example, the Olympian set, which we've got a few pieces of. Prospector, Sanctuary, Bloodlust. They're the only four that I've got pieces from. And then right now, I've set this one up to just hold all sets. Uh, all the leftover stuff that don't fit on the other ones. Um, however, this is how many sets there are, by the way. There's a lot of sets. So I guess as we end up with more random pieces of armor from killing loot bosses and gods and stuff like that, we'll um, we'll get more mannequins around the base. I think. I think that's how things work. Now over here is my farm. Yep, that's right. The farm is now inside of the base rather than out the front in the way. Um, and I've also tamed up a prime farming parasaur to help me out with this business. So we no longer need water. In fact, well, we got this thing here. I set this up just so I can drink from it. Um, but, oh, and a beehive. We've got a beehive too, because we need that for sweet vegetable cake. Uh, but long story short, uh, we no longer need compost bins. We kind of no longer need a Fiomia either, but he's just chilling over here with the rest of the farm. Uh, long story short though, what this guy here does, I'm going to show you right this second, is, uh, utility farming. The farmer dinosaurs are invaluable to have in your base. Now we've got one. They will passively pick up poop, drop nearby, convert it to fertilizer, auto distribute it to crops. And if they have an unstable water in their inventory, keep those crops plots watered forever. Uh, so long story short, I don't have to worry about water. I don't have to worry about fertilizer and I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry about nothing. We've just got crops and they're all going to do their thing. So that's fantastic. I love it. Um, I haven't really harvesting uh, anyways this is all stuff later on um but yeah this, this is pretty cool so these are all automated now as you can see they're just full of fertilizer my dude over here is full of poop um and he also has a current fertilizer count of 14 so i think he does store fertilizer as well i don't really know how it works and there's the unstable water that i crafted um in the bench from over there he also produces oil which is interesting 
I, I'm not sure how that works, but he does it. And uh, you might be wondering, how, do this, how does this whole system work? Well, it all comes down to this. But basically what this thing here does, we kind of, I would guess we're using one in the original little base that we had. Um, but you, long story short, uh, put items in here. For example, this gun. And upon putting this in, it is going to send it where I've programmed this whole system to work. So there it is. Actually, that might not work. No, that's not going to work, is it? What about this one? Oh, no. So long story short, <laughs> if I go and grab this stuff and I go and put it inside of the grinder, because ideally that's where this stuff will end up. Um, and then I go manage items. Oh, now I got to tick all these boxes. Did I forget to do this? Grind settings, store all current items. Yes, store all these items. Okay, so basically whenever I put one of these items that are currently in this inventory inside of the, in fact, I'll show you this shotgun over here. Whenever one of these ends up getting placed in here, let's say I go on a bit of a looting expedition, come home with a shotgun, it's going to go, oh, oh, where did it go? It got sent over to the grinder. And that's basically how everything's going to work. All of our stuff over here, upon returning back from an expedition, it's all going to get sent into here. Also, have a look at all my elements. It's, 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 it's insane. Um, for example... I'm going to demonstrate this right this second. Uh, our feather lad over here currently has 37,000 stone on it. If I pick this up, it's going to end up with a little bag of stone right there. That bag of stone is going to disappear in a second. There it goes. Um, which got sent up here. Got picked up by my warp thing, my bobby. But if we look in here, it's not here. That is because it got sent down here to my resources box. And there it is. Look at all of our stone. So, yeah, things pretty automated now, which is fantastic. I love it. Um, I haven't really gone out on an expedition properly yet. So uh, we're going to go and test that out today on the back of this beast right here. The ultimate vampire spino who I'm dying to go on a bit of a spree with. Um... Yeah, that's basically the gist of it. Now, this will be expanding in the future. I know it looks like we've got a lot of base. In fact, I haven't finished the base. There's still a whole back half of the base over here to complete. Um, but it will be expanding in the future because from what I understand, the further into this mod we get, things are just going to get out of hand and crazy. For example, we're going to get a ton of crazy blueprints. These are probably all useless. Um, but you can basically program different... We will end up with probably a bunch of these to all store different types of blueprints. But then on top of that, different quality blueprints and stuff like that. So things will get different. Um, and I guess that kind of goes for this stuff here as well. So, yeah. Oh, and we got this. I don't know if I actually went over this. This is the Red Dwarf. Uh, this here gives all of my crop plots a 300% greenhouse boost. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's the base currently. I love it. I think it's pretty fantastic. We're going to go and test this thing out right this second. And in case you're wondering where the old base was, it was here. If you, if you don't recall, there was a few little stone platforms. And then this little thing here was next to it. Um, well, now that's in the base. And it worked out just perfectly right in that spot. I didn't intend for it to be there, but... It, it's just there and it's not blocking any walkways or anything like that. So it's pretty sweet. So anyway, uh, let me know. How do you rate my base? Do you like it? Let me know down below in the comments. For now though, I think it's time we go and put this whole system to the test upon our ultimate vampiric spino. Who? Hold on a second. What is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. What is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. That's one of those things. An oval law. Oh no, that's just... Oh no, that thing's got 80 million health. That's a mini boss. Wait, what? Okay. Uh, that's kind of terrifying. Uh, all right. All right. I don't plan to lose my dude just yet. Can only be damaged by otters. Um, combat mechanic. Damage increases as the health decreases. Oh, my goodness. And the reward is six quest scrolls. Yeah, no thanks. Not worth it. No, thank you very much. Um, but anyways, let's, uh, let's go and do some damage. Wow, you cloned me. That's not very nice. Also, you cloned me into a ver version of me with a million health. Uh, that's a little unfair. I don't even have a million health, do I? I don't think I do. Pretty sure I do not. Nah, he despawned before I got a chance to kill him. All right, let's go. Let's avoid uh, the mini boss that has spawned on our shoreline. That is absolutely terrifying. Um, and head in this direction. Um, I basically just want to tear things to pieces. I'm hoping that we don't go and... I don't know, do anything stupid here. It will likely happen. We'll probably run into, I was going to say, something explosive. Thank you very much. There's a little pygmy manta. I can see him cruising around down here. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty confident in this ultimate vampire spino that it can, it can, I think, survive most challenges. 
Um, I'm pretty sure it can kill most Omega Dinosaurs. It can definitely, I mean, we definitely have tried that already. So I, I got a good feeling about it, but we are going to have to take it off of this island because this island doesn't actually spawn many variant dinosaurs. It mostly spawns just aberrant, which is, I mean, it's, it's good to live on because it keeps us nice and safe. There's a little prime wood trilobite here. Um, what have we got? Are these, are these just all regular? They're just all regular parasaurs, but I do want to bring it over here very quickly. There's actually some piranhas. These are just regular aberrant piranhas. Um, oh, hello. Hello. Omega knockback roll rat. Uh, I don't think I can get you just yet. I don't have many rage dinosaurs, but hey, easy kill maybe. Let's try. Just don't knock me back. Actually, should I get knocked back by this thing just to see what happens? Yo. Oh, oh, you actually stunned? Okay, that's kind of, that's good. Good for you. Good for you. Um, yep. No, I need this. I need this kill. I will happily take this kill. There's also a spiritual basilisk. That thing will be so darn quick. Uh, but you don't do much damage, so that's nice. All right, go away, road rat. Actually, I should probably get down. That way I can... No, I can't knock you back. Oh, man. I thought maybe I'd just have... Spinos normally have a bit of knockback to them, but I guess you can't really knock back a knockback dinosaur. It wouldn't make a lot of sense now, would it? All right, 300,000 health remaining. We're going to get a bunch of experience for this, thankfully. Maybe I'll stand back up on my hind legs to deal that extra damage. Don't you dare stun me. Thanks for that. Not really stunned. It just stops me attacking. But thanks for playing along. All right, nice. I can see it. I can hear it. It's giving me tinnitus. Come here. Your mega soul is all mine. All right. So I wanted to bring it over here because down this way... Oh, the basilisk died, man. It's fine. Could always do with a little bit of extra prey meat. Uh, down here, there's a bunch of alpha carcanosses, which I thought would be worthwhile checking out. That's just a regular spino egg. All right, here we go. So these guys here, they're actually interesting dudes. Um, oh, no, no, no. Maybe they're not so interesting after all. <laughs> he hit me with a control attack. Darn you. Come on, let me go. I just wanted some experience from an alpha kill. All right, fine. Let's go. Let's go. You want some of this? You want some of this? Get wrecked. Are you healing? What are you doing? Yeah, get wrecked. The other one died. And you're dead too. Thank you very much for playing. Uh, but yeah, the red drop. There's a... I was saying earlier, a red supply drop that falls around here somewhere, like just over here. Amazing drop. It's actual crazy good. Um, definitely, if you live in the area... Like, consider living in this area if you're playing with this mod, with this map edition. It's, it's amazing. It's actually so good. A beta wood defense unit. Why not? Beta Overlord Tech Parasaur, sure. Why not? Give me them souls, baby. Give me that essence. Give me that everything. Let's go. All right, back to business. Resilient Ravager. Die. Um, a lot of these guys are normally pretty fancy fish. Uh, I got a Cosmic Soul out of one of them, but aside from that, not a whole lot. Oh, hello. Um, I should really not travel without a health potion. There's actually... It's actually dealing solid damage. Um, who, who summoned that on? Oh, hello. There's a chest here. I haven't found a chest in a while. Um, I feel safe enough. Let's have a look at what's inside of it. Oh, oh my good. Wait, what? Hoarded chest. What is that? Not enough to unlock. I've never seen one of these before. Um, wow, that's so expensive. Okay, I guess maybe that's why it's a hoarder chest because you got to be a hoarder to open it. Look at all the essence you need. Um, not enough. Obviously not enough to unlock. Yep, cool. Well, that's disappointing. The one chest I find in like a long time. And there's nothing I can do about it. All right, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Give me the order that essence. Yo, Starfire. Come at me. Also, some loot drops. Nice. All right. Let's wait for the Starfire to disappear. Let's see what got dropped. We have... Primitive medallion. Let's have a look. Ooh, it's a oh, it's a coal. Okay, so if I ever decide to tame a fish as one of my teams, uh, we'll give it that, and it'll give it a little bit of a give it a little bit of a boost, which is actually pretty handy. I wonder if we should take this guy through the snow and like do some proper tearing up, just absolutely annihilate everything. What would be actually pretty sweet is getting this guy like a uh, a unique saddle of some variety. In saying that, what would also be really cool is taming up more unique dinosaurs. Not 
unique for ultimate dinosaurs or omega dinosaurs for that matter um because this guy here he, he's kind of got a wasted buff when you think about it he may be an ultimate um but his whole gimmick is that he's more powerful at nighttime which um for the legit the only reason i don't play it oh loot ran it on get wrecked don't, don't don't fly away don't fly away yes thank you very much unfortunately it was just a regular loot to but we got loot nonetheless so that's good but this guy's whole gimmick is playing at nighttime and the only reason i play not at nighttime i like to play at daytime is uh for you guys um because you know very dark videos aren't very good for youtube uh youtube kind of like breaks them a little bit it, it, they just don't appear very nicely um so i tend to try and just play at daytime yeah so this guy's kind of like really ineffective for me so either i do some more nighttime playing or we go and get some more ultimate dinosaurs and uh well either way i'm gonna get some more ultimate dinosaurs i think so that'll be really really cool but yeah i guess the only downside about going on absolute killing sprees like this is i have no idea what i'm fighting and i probably should be paying attention to what i'm fighting because we want to do some more taming eventually that is an omega explosive pteranodon oh my goodness that has my attention that has my attention good level with ton of torpor it's probably going to annihilate me if i if it explodes on me um but i can't tame it i don't think unstable i'm so close i'm so close to being able to get that i need an ultimate all right well we now have a target of what we're looking for i need an ultimate explosive not even explosive an ultimate unstable female is what we need to find i'm just trying to think i don't think any of the guys have got a base tick that box we obviously got a few dinosaurs around the base that aren't in the egg machine just yet um let's see what we've got up here some of these guys might be able to help us dragonflies and ants don't underestimate them sometimes they're pretty darn good i'm totally gonna end up killing exactly what i'm looking forward to though i already know it psychosis stuff got a wood trude on there's another trude on over here another ant get wrecked all right oh my goodness i can't believe i find like my perfect reddit on and i can't even do anything with it oh you're kidding me that's okay well i we're stacking up the loot that's the main thing here we got 77 levels up our sleeve as well Let's get my dude here to like 300,000 health. Let's also swipe this little dialo in the face. Also, he's got a bunch of loot from something. And I don't really know what... It, wait, where am I getting all this loot from? Am I getting attacked by loot dinosaurs or something? You don't normally get like that much loot from kills. And a bunch of stuff just randomly entered my, my, my inventory. I'm confused. Unless something died up here because there was just a singularity that went off. Big old black hole. So there might have been something to that that helped us out prime zombie over there random brontosaurus i don't know i'm not really seeing any i have no idea <laughs> i have no idea where all this just came from um there's some decent stuff hey we got some health potions at least that's nice uh got some good saddles we got some armors and stuff i don't really know how useful a lot of this is ascent and torch why not cool I guess. And we still got 62 levels up our sleeve. Beta Dimensional Iguanodon. Look at this guy trying to fly around. Not on my watch. We've got an Alpha Spectral. Get wrecked. Self-destructive Parasaur. Well, go self-destruct. You're not enough to stop me, though. A Detonate. Oh! Oh, hold on. That's an Omega Self-Destructive Dialo. That actually might kill me. All right, that I actually need to be careful with. It's another Omega Unstable. Why couldn't you be an ultimate? Do you reckon I've got what it takes to kill it? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not going to attack that Dialo. Because if I kill it, it's going to self-destruct and it's going to kill me. There's a little chest here. Um, they're going to give me an opportunity to get it though. Because I want to check this to see if I can open it. All right, let's get rid of you. The Unstable one's running away, so that's nice. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. <gasps> I can open it. Yo! Yo! That's the first chest I've unlocked. Oh, hey. Prime self-destructive super turkey. Uh, this might be... I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't be doing this. Nah, not going to bother with it. Not going to bother with it. If that thing, if that thing is strong, it's going to annihilate me when it dies. So no thank you very much. Alpha, why couldn't you be a female? That would have been amazing. All right, you guys are going to get wrecked. How you like? Damn apples. A brutal diplo. Ah! A bit of lag there. 
Yeah, I was dropping meteor strikes over here. Just a regular dodo. This war turkey's still coming for me too. All right, hold on. There's something in the water. It's this guy, Hesperornis. Yeah, good for you, I guess. Ultimate crystal parasaur. Interesting, but probably not what I'm looking for right this second. Prime explosive stegosaurus somewhere. I don't know. He's out here somewhere. That one there. Dang it. If that was an ultimate, it'd be amazing. Ultimate water iguanodon. But no, I'm not looking for an ultimate water iguanodon, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, sometimes it just gets a little bit tricky. But uh, I, I'm not going to be able to stop thinking about that omega explosive pteranodon now. I like really want that. <gasps> Yo, I think I actually need this. I think this is one of the few. Yeah, I, I don't have any alpha rage dinosaurs yet. And this guy is it. The only downside is I left all my taming stuff in base, it turns out. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Um, so what do I need to get you? 400, 400,000? That is so much torpor. I mean, I can get it, don't get me wrong. But still, it's, it's quite a bit. Are there any other options? Am I really about to tame up a roll rat? A knockback roll rat? I need it the chest hold on let's have a look at what's in this one i can unlock it damn damn okay these have got some decent stuff in them not bad at all not bad at all thankfully they're only asking for uh basic and beta essence so far i remember the first few i ran into were like alpha or prime essence from memory um and yeah that, that's a little bit tougher that was at least in the early game that was tougher to come across uh, do I need this roll rat? Because I think I do. Not unless... Oh my goodness, look at the size of that thing. Not unless there's like a better version. Omega Banshee. Oh, I could tame that. I could tame that, I think. Which one is it? That one. Banshee. Omega Ban... I can, I could tame that. That could be my first Omega tame. And Pteranodons are kind of easy. Uh, let me have a look at what a Banshee actually does. Banshees release a powerful scream, cursing their enemies and dooming them to death. The Banshee scream acts as a powerful debuff, increasing damage taken for all nearby enemies. Pressing... Oh, dude, that actually sounds so good. So, screaming X causes the dinosaurs around you to take extra damage. Oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, hey, another chest. Okay, hold on. I'm actually considering that. All right, another chest. Yo! Okay, we're starting to get loot, which is perfect. It really is. All right, hold on. What sort of torpor is this thing here got? Omega Banshee to 400,000. That's fine. Because as you may or may not know, Pteranodons take a ton of torpor from headshots. Also, I should be able to net it with my net gun. The only thing I'm not sure about is if I've got the eggs to make it happen. Yeah, look at this, man. That's like completely out of bounds down there. I can't fight that. That's nuts. Well, down there is like out of out of reach for a little bit. Um, okay. So let me test this out. Let's get my guy stood up. He's not gonna be able to fit in my base though, is he? Oh no, he can. Now I'm pretty sure if I hit this, so this is my inventory. If I hit the warp thing. Aha! Dino inventory has been removed. So his inventory is completely empty. And in here is everything. Um, a lot of this is junk. <laughs> but I guess this is where it's up to me to go and like now program it all to go into its like certain storage boxes and stuff like that um, and do its thing. And I guess the same kind of goes for my inventory. So I really got to go like this and dump mine in there too. And as you can see, all the souls and everything, it just got sucked out. And it all got sent to where it needs to go, which is, well, yeah, in these types of things. So we have a lot more souls over here now. We've got a bunch of essence up here. And uh, I got to go and program the rest of it. So as we go, as we collect more loot, as things, you know, kind of happen, it'll all kind of work out a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, this is basically all the stuff I haven't yet programmed to be removed just yet. Um, let me take that, 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 because this is my items that I need. Um, not really that, but we got it anyway. Hey, we got some of this. We got some of these chest shards. A reward inside each loot. Oh, that means I've opened three of them. Collect these to prove your chest finding prowess can be used to craft a golden chest as a trophy. That's actually, that sounds really cool. Uh, on top of that, we got some pygmy armor. Place this on a pygmy dinosaur. 
um we've got a vacuum grenade that sounds pretty exciting um and i can't remember what a lot of the other stuff we ended up with was because i think i got sucked out of here not in you not in you not in you maybe in here no that's my whip see what i mean sometimes things kind of get sucked out that, that that aren't meant to be item fragmenter there's nothing interesting in there all the blueprints we just ended up with they're over here now including this journeyman pygmy armor okay so we got two bunches of pygmy armor from all of that um and i bet you this has the souls in it yes so we ended up with a bunch of omega souls from those chests and killing an omega um but we also got beta uh boss souls so i'm gonna have to look into what these are all about place in the trophy oh okay i think these are just for summoning bosses you had to do that you had to craft those manually back in the day when i played the mod so things are um things are a changing and also i don't know if we got any extra loot from these guys but if we do it's here maybe one of these is new i don't really know but yeah this is how things are looking um obviously there were a few dinosaurs we just ran into that i was interested in taming and the whole reason i didn't look any further into that because i wasn't sure if we had the eggs to make it happen uh why is this all like out of whack oh because this isn't where my eggs are meant to be kind of i guess they're meant to be over here maybe i just store them in the other one for now but basically what i was hoping was that my guy over here has laid an egg or two because it is an ultimate nightmare dinosaur and then if it had laid an egg it likely would have been picked up by this but there's no eggs in here and then it would have hopefully been sent actually no it would have been picked up by you but it hasn't because if it had we'd be able to see it and it's not here so there's no no ultimate eggs so we can't get the banshee that is unfortunate but um i might get the i might go and get the roll rat and then maybe maybe soon we can get ourselves a prime rage dinosaur guys thank you so much though we're gonna end this one right here i hope you like the new base let me know what you think down below in the comments do you think i'm on the right track do you think i know what i'm doing i need some reassurance because i'm not even sure myself shout out to zathara for the help um just helping me kind of work out what a lot of this storage stuff does it was a, it was a great help um but yeah most importantly guys have a fantastic day and i'll catch you in the next one tomorrow bye for now